Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Universal signs in the glorious Quran. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, We will show them our sign in the horizons and within themselves until it become clear to them that is the truth. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one finds that the universal sign that is clearly indicates the all perfection and all creativity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a fact that is recorded in the Quran. It is a work of Allah who perfected all things. The entire universe testifies to the greatness of the Creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, only those people of sound minds are the ones who benefit from this universal sign in a manner that promote their faith and strengthen their certainty. A fact that is recorded in the Quran, and your God is one God, there is no deity worthy of worship except Him, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, and the great ships which sail through the sea, with which benefit people, and what Allah has sent down from the heaven of rain, giving life thereby to the earth, after and dispersing there every kind of moving creature, and his directing of the winds and the clouds controlled between the heaven and the earth, are signs. Are signs for a people who use reason. And indeed, in the creation of the heaven and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, are signs of those who are understanding. Who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while standing, or sitting, or laying on their sides, and give thought to the creation of the heaven and the earth, saying, O Lord, you did not create this aimlessly. Exalted are you above such a thing that protect us from the punishment of the fire. The universal sign of Allah are a, are a great beauty and perfection. A fact that is crystal clear in the following verses of the Quran. Have they not looked at the heaven above them? How we structured it and, and how it has no rifts. And who created even heaven and the layers? You did not see the creation of the most merciful, so return your vision to the sky. Did you see any break? Did you see any breaks? And the heavens we constructed with strength, and indeed we are its expander. And we made the sky protect its ceiling, but they from its sign and turning away. One of these signs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decorated the heaven, it is the sun. That is burning lamb that warm the atmosphere and seas, and that runs regularly in a creative manner. Another universal sign is the moon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it serve as a burning lamb and, and determine its phases for so we will know the number for years and the account of time. Allah said, and the sun runs on a course toward its stooping point, but the determination of the exalted in might, the knowing. And the moon we have determined for its phases until it's to return appearing like an old stack. It is not allowable for the sun to reach the moon, nor that the night overtake the day, but each in an orbit is swimming. He 
the Most High also beautifies the heaven with stars that guides us in darkness, a fact recorded in his saying, and it is, it is he who plays for you the stars that you may be guided by them through the darkness of the land and sea. We have detailed the signs for a people who know. Those who carefully contemplating the creation of the earth and the signs that the, and the sign it includes with fully realize the old wisdom of Allah as he made a stable, paved for his creation, inserted therein for a creature roadway, roadways, fixed it with a mountain, blessed it, determined therein its creature and made it tame for them so that they, we, they could walk in slops and eat from the Most High sustenance. Furthermore, He the Almighty created a wretched and different kinds of food through being watered with one water. On that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, It is He who made the earth tame for you. So walk among its slops and eat his provision, and to him is the resurrection. And it is he who spread the earth and placed therein firmly set mountains and rivers, and from all the fruit he made therein two mates, he causes the night to overcome the day. Indeed, in that are sign for a people who give thought, and within the land are neighboring plots and gardens and crops and palm trees growing several from a root or watered with one water. But we make some of them exceed others in a quality of a fruit. Indeed, it is a sign for a people who, who have reason. And of his sign is that you see the earth styled. But when we send down upon its rain, its quaver and growth, indeed, he has given it life, the giver of the life to death. Indeed, he is over all things competent and all people. If you should be in doubt about resurrection, then consider we have created you from dust and then from a sperm drop, then from a climbing clots, and then from a lamb, lamb of flesh, formed and unformed, that we may show you, and we settle in a womb whom we will, for a specified term, then we bring you out as a child, and then we develop you, that you may reach your time of maturity, and among you is he who taken early death, and among you he is he is returned to the most old age, so that he knows. After one, after once having knowledge, nothing you see the earth burn, but when we send down upon its rain, its quaver and souls and growth, something of every beautiful kind. Modern science has proved the authenticity of all the verses mentioned in the Quran concerning the quavering of the practical of a soil when water is bowered down upon it. So the question to be asked here, who told Prophet Muhammad this scientific fact more than 1,400 years ago? It is none but Allah Lord of the worlds. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family and companion. It goes without saying that the universal sign indicating the all perfection of Allah the Almighty in the creation of the human being offer conclusive evidence of the existence of the Creator. A fact recording in a saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said, We have certainly created man in the best 
best best like st structure and certainly did we create man from an extract of clay then we placed him a sperm drop in a firm lodging then we made the sperm drop into a climbing clots and we made the clots into lung of flesh and we made from the lung bones and we covered the bones with the flesh then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the best of creators. O oh, mankind, what has deceived you concerning your Lord, the generous, who created you per, like, and balanced you in whatever form he willed. He assembled you and yes, we are able even to a proportion his fingerprints. Allah the Exalted has mentioned the fingerprint because the, the, the formation is one of the signs indicating Allah creativity. Since there are not two persons who have the same fingerprint, they, the very creation of the heaven and earth up till now and even up to the end of time. O oh Allah, Make us of those people of sound mind who bounder over your verses and universal sign and benefit from them. O oh Allah, protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.